Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me for today's 10 minute ab workout. Now we've got some exercises standing and some on the floor with an option to use a weight if you want to. I'm doing it with you, I can feel the burn at the same time. Let's get ready to work that core. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with some plank walkouts and slow mountain climbers. So keeping the legs as straight as possible, we're going to walk the hands out into a nice plank position, pull the knee into the chest, just one on each leg, nice, slow and controlled, before we walk back and stand back up. We're gonna repeat this five times. As you pull that knee into the chest, I want you to feel your abs engage. Feel that kind of sucking up feeling. Strong on the arms, in, in, and back. We've got two more of these. And your last one. Good. Okay, now coming to stand with your feet slightly wide than hip width apart. Hands either side of the head. We are going to lift the knee, twist the torso and bring the knee to the elbow, not the other way around. You wanna make sure that your knee is coming up to your elbow and that your elbow isn't sinking down to your knee. Okay, so keeping a nice, long spine for this. Crunch the knee in, try and get it as close to the elbow as possible. You're having to use your abs here for that last little extra squeeze to get that knee closer to the elbow. Keep breathing. Good. You've got eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. With your little fingers making contact with the outside of your legs and remaining this contact the whole way through, we are going to lean over to one side and up and then to the other side. It's really important to maintain that contact between your hand and your leg and also to make sure that your hips aren't swinging out as you do this. You want your hips to be locked in and it's only your upper body that is going side to side. From your waist downwards, nothing is moving. You want to try and reach to your toes and recover. Okay, we're going to speed it up. We're going to go double time. We go down. Down, up. Making sure those hips aren't swaying and making sure that your little finger is in contact with your leg at all times. Speed it up a little bit more. Don't forget to breathe. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, we're gonna bounce onto one side. We go eight, seven, six. You wanna try and get past your knee if you can without your hips swaying out. Two, one, switch to the other side. Back to the first side for four. Three, two, and switch. Four, three, two, fours again. Four, three, Two and switch. Four, three, two, and recover. Next up, we're going to do some punches. This might seem like an arm exercise, but trust me, if you're getting the right rotation, you are really going to work this mid section deep into the core. Now, you have an option to hold some light weights for this if you want to. What's really important is you've got that softness in the knees, those hips are straight forward, as are your shoulders, and you are twisting as you punch. So we start straight forward and then we twist and we twist. So we're getting that twisting motion in that midsection. You can do this at your own pace, just making sure that you're twisting with each one. You're going at like a kind of diagonally in front of you. You're not twisting all the way to the side, just enough to feel that twist in the core. Keep going.
you've got eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Okay guys, we're gonna go down onto the floor, so if you have a mat, grab it now. If not, then a towel will be great, something to protect your back. I'm gonna show you each of the exercises, and then we're gonna get going. First up, we have leg lowers. So we're starting laying on our back with our toes pointed up towards the ceiling. We are slowly lowering our legs as far to the ground as possible and holding it here. If you feel this is a little too much, you can lift your legs and you can slightly bend them. And if you feel this in your lower back, pop your hand underneath your spine and press your fingers into the floor. Okay, this is gonna make sure that you are engaging that midsection. We're gonna hold it down here and then we're gonna lift the legs back up. That is exercise one. Exercise two is the same format, but this time we're starting seated and we're lowering our body down. We're gonna hold here and then we're gonna recover. There is an option if you want to take the feet off and do exactly the same thing, hold and recover. The last exercise in round one is some pulses. So we're gonna lower back down and we're gonna pulse the arms gently in front of us and then start with some side uh, pulses as well, okay? Let's get going with exercise one and these leg lowers. You lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Whilst you're holding here, if you need to bend the legs, you can do. And if you need to pop a hand underneath your spine, you also can, as long as you can feel those lower abs working. And we recover for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, you should have felt that work in your lower core. We are gonna do that once again. Here we go, lowering down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold here. If you need to hold underneath your thighs, you can do. If you want to take your shoulder blades off, you also can. And let's recover for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, coming to seated. We're gonna do exactly the same. This time we're lowering our body. So here we go. We lower back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stop here. Again, if you need to hold underneath your thighs, hold this position. If you want to lift your feet off, you can. If not, keep them planted firmly on the ground for four, for three, for two, let's recover. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna do that once again, straight away. Let's go. Down for eight, seven, six, five. Really create that curve in the spine, sucking those abs in. Let's hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's recover. Three. We're gonna do that one last time. This time we're gonna hold it down there. Six, five, four, three, two. Let's pulse here. Just tiny little pulses, feeling that belly button, pulling through to the spine so everything is locked in. Are you ready to twist? Here we go. We twist one side and another. You want to make sure that you're twisting your shoulders. So you want to aim to get your elbow on the floor whilst you're doing this. You're nearly there. You've got four, three, two, one, and recover. Okay, how are you feeling? Can you feel your core engaged and firing up? I hope so. We are going to do that once again. So round one, once more, we start laying on our back with those leg lowers. Here we go. You've got eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Keep breathing. In four, in three, in two. We lift. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna go again straight away. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, hold it here. Again, you can pop that hand under the spine if you need to. You can hold it behind your thighs if you need to. Three, 
two, let's recover. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good guys, okay. On to our next exercise, our body lowers. So starting nice and tall, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here. Pull that belly button in, lock in that midsection. Let's recover for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, once again, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it here for eight, seven, six. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and up, two, three. Well, we're going to do this one last time. This time we're going to go straight into the pulses. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's get ready to pulse. We pulse. Just tiny little movements with the arms. Nothing big. Are you ready to twist? Here we go. We twist, twist. Trying to get the elbow as close to the floor as possible. You've got eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Wow, guys, thank you for joining me for that 10 minute ab workout. I hope that you felt the burn. I know that I certainly did. Don't forget to check out some of the other workouts that I have. I will see you very soon.